relationships are really the key part of what we do in the, the corporate meetings and events world. It's really, you know, in, in 20 plus years, it's the one thing that I have learned is truly um, indispensable. You know, I've been fortunate to start in this industry on both sides and have worked 20 plus years in the hotel side. And now as a buyer or a client of hotels, all of our team have come from deep, deep backgrounds from hotels in sales and operations leadership roles. And now as they represent their clients to hotels, they all have that similar their uh, perspective on how we conduct business. Understanding both sides is really key and that power of relationships and getting from A to Z you know, quickly and painlessly uh, in our world is absolutely critical. There's a few instances where relationships are really so important and, and absolutely critical in, in my development as a hotel salesperson and in industry. Uh, you know, involved in this industry. The, the, when I started here in this industry 20 plus years ago uh, in Vancouver, the, the market was very tough. It was a, just coming out of a recession. I was working in the Canadian market for a hotel. And, you know, my first sales call into Ottawa, you know, I sat down with an executive director and, and senior meeting planners and they all said to me, listen, Vancouver, great destination, but you know what, we remember. We remember when you guys, you know, tried to increase rates, or we remember when you tried to do this, and we'll remember that, you know, when those that help us, we will support them. Those that don't, we will remember. And and I took that really to heart. Is that, you know, customers, you know, want to be loyal. They want to support you, but you have to show them that loyalty and that support in return. There is such a thing as no. However, I try not to say it, and I think that that is something that, as a salesperson, you're, you're pretty much bred to try not to say no. I don't think that's anything special. However, in today's world, a hotel salesperson really has you know, so many um, skill sets and disciplines they need to master, from being an advocate for their client, to being part-time lawyer, financial expert, to meeting planner, to you know, customer loyalty expert, you name it. There's all these different facets which a hotel salesperson really has to operate and, and, and exceed uh, in. And as a result, you know, you know, you're gonna get times when you know, you're gonna wanna say no because a customer has a piece of business that doesn't quite fit that date range or comes in on a Saturday instead of a Sunday or a meeting space ratio is not good. And I remember when I, you know, Vancouver days and I went on to a market to, that was super hot, you know, we were saying no to business left, right, and center. And it was for all the right reasons, but I always gave options. And so even at the end of the day, if we couldn't book that business, that customer felt that you had their best interest at heart and you just made a huge deposit into that trust bank account with them. And so regardless of whether they booked, you know, they felt, listen, you did everything possible. The one simple piece of advice I would give someone who wants to succeed in this business is just simply be nice. I'm not saying be a pushover and be a yes person, but I really believe that you need to understand that this is about relationships, it's about trust, and it's about the ability for that person, that customer, to believe that you have their best interests at heart. There is tremendous pressure on everyone today, both financially and, and personally, and all these things are there going on, but you just need to filter that. In our client interactions, we're always you know, just trying to be ourselves and be nice.